वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियोरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू फ्यू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ इक्वेल एंड रेजिस्टेंस सो लेट आर सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओवर हियर सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हियर वी आर हैविंग इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क इन दैट थ्री रजिस्टर्स आर आर कनेक्टेड and we are deal with to find equivalent resistance between terminal a and b so whenever you have any electrical network first of all your agenda should be to identify series and parallel connection of any electrical network so here i don't have anything is there in series or parallel right as this wire is connected over here and this wire is connected over here i cannot say these three resistors are there in series so after that what i need to do is i need to understand that if i redraw this circuit then is it possible that we can have simplified circuit so let us try to understand how we can have simplification by redrawing this circuit so here see this is terminal a so i can say this is terminal a and this wire is shorted over here so this is also terminal a this is terminal b right so this wire is shorted over here so i can say this is terminal b now what i'll be doing is i'll be redrawing this circuit and then after we will solve equivalent resistance so here let us say we are having terminal a and let us say here we are having terminal b so here if you see this resistance r then that is there in between a and b right so what i'll do is i'll draw this resistance r in between a and b now if you see this resistance r that is there in between b and a so now i'll be drawing this resistance r in between b and a now if you see this resistance r that is also there in a and b so now i'll draw this resistance r in between a and b so now this is there in between a and b so if you see this network right then this network is technically parallel combination of r r r right but initially when you see this circuit at the time it doesn't appear like this three resistance are there in parallel so now equivalent resistance in between a and b that will be as per parallel combination so equivalent in between a and b as per parallel combination it is 1 by rab is equals to 1 by r plus 1 by r plus 1 by r so that is 3 by r so i can say that rab equivalent that will be r by 3 so sometimes this type of questions will be given to you in which you might be observing like nothing is there in series parallel or star delta so at that time you will have to redraw the circuit and then you will have to identify let us have one more interesting question so that will resolve your understanding further more so here now we are having second question now in this second question you see we are deal with to find equivalent resistance in between a and b now if you see our previous circuit then only difference is here additionally one resistance is connected so first of all we should identify series or parallel connection in between terminals so here i don't see anything is there in series or parallel so what i'll do is i'll be redrawing this circuit so here if i say this is a terminal then that is terminal a and this is shorted over here so this is also terminal a and this is terminal b but if you see here we have resistance so this is another terminal let us say this is terminal c so now what i'll do is i'll redraw this circuit so here i'm having terminal a and here i'm having terminal b and in between this two let us place terminal c now if you see this resistance r right then this resistance r that is there in between a and c so let us draw that resistance in between a and c now if you see this resistance r so that is also there in between c and a 
So, let us draw this resistance R in between A and C. Now, if you see this resistance R that is there in between A and B. So, here we have terminal B. So, here we have terminal A. So, in between A and B we have that resistance R. Now, if you see this resistance R, so that is there in between B and C. So, let us place this resistance R in between B and C, right. So, now we can have simplification of this circuit further in which you see these two resistors that is there in parallel. So, as these two are there in parallel, equivalent of these two that is R into R divided by R plus R. So, that is R by 2. So, let us redraw this circuit. So, now instead of these two resistor, I need to replace that resistance by R by 2. So, now I am going to replace this resistance by R by 2. Now, you see these two resistors that is there in series. So, equivalent of these two that is R plus R by 2. So, that is 3 R by 2. So, now I will be replacing these two resistor by equivalent resistance of 3 R by 2. So, now I am replacing these two resistors by equivalent resistance of 3 R by 2. So, now based on this I can say equivalent resistance in between A and B let us say that is R A B. So, that is parallel combination of R and 3 R by 2. So, that will be R into 3 R by 2 divided by R plus 3 R by 2. So, if you solve this further then that will be 3 R square by 2 divided by R plus R by 2 that is 5 r by 2. So, this 2 2 r r will get cancelled. So, this equivalent resistance will be 3 r by 5. So, that is how we can identify equivalent resistance in between two terminal for given network. So, here I have solved problem based on visibility right. Now, there will be few more videos in which I will be solving problem based on applying rules of star delta conversion or delta to star conversion and later on I will explain you few examples based on symmetricity of network. So, all three categories that I will be going to cover so that you can have better idea about how we can have calculation of any electrical network with equivalent resistance. I hope you have understood this still if you have any further queries you just place that in comment box I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.